The Kingdom's Revenue The Ayutthaya Kingdom's commercial revenue came through various sources. Firstly, the businesses of the royal vessels and the monopoly trading strategies of the royal warehouse were hugely profitable. Secondly, import duties, tributes, and valuable goods to the royal court from its vassal states, as well as taxes and fees from commoners, were such a sizable income. The kingdom's revenues can be categorized into four main categories as follows. 1. Dangop was a type of fee or tax collected from traders according to the value of the goods carried either by land or by water in their vehicles. The fees were calculated at 10% of the value of the cargoes. They could also be calculated from the size of the vehicles or boats. This kind of tax was called pasi pakrua and it was based on the width of a boat. The checkpoints for tax and fee collection were set up along the waterways around the city of Ayutthaya. The taxes and fees were collected on both the boats and the vehicles. 2. Suoi, gifts, refers to either cash or items paid as gifts to the royal court in lieu of the physical services, corvée, that Prai Luang were obligated to contribute to the royal court. If they paid in cash, it would be called Karachakan, or cash in lieu of the labor service for the royal court. Items or merchandise were classified as suai, and most of them were local goods, which the crown could utilize as an export item. For instance, tin, guano, saltpeter, and sapinwoods.